Stardust. All we know was born of it. Then, from where did the elements of stardust come? Extending the limits of scientific knowledge, we are now pursuing the solution of this question. So, what I am doing is basically trying to understand the history of how we got what we have on the Earth. Um, I have a gold ring. This is a, my wedding band. I want to know how we got gold on the Earth. You start from the Big Bang from the very early start. You go through, through galaxies, you go individual stars, you understand stellar objects like Novae, Super, Novae, X-ray, Plus, uh, Planetary, Nebula, whatever your name. But then, due to the ejecta, you, you have an effect on the evolution of the whole galaxy, and, and so you can later on understand the whole evolution of galaxies. We are the product of nuclear burning and stars. We are in the process of trying to unravel the puzzle of how all of this came about. And I think that nuclear physics tells us a great deal about the origin of the universe, the origin of the explosions which made the elements. There are, of course, very fascinating and very exciting developments going on at the moment worldwide in which we build laboratories in which these short-lived nuclei are artificially made and give nuclear experimentalists and theorists and later the chance to actually learn about them. The Universe our place of birth. The very truths governing its boundless reaches must have their origin in the rules governing subatomic particles. Continuity commonly illustrated by the ancient symbol of a snake swallowing its own tail. Liberating the imagination, humankind is drawing closer to elucidating the mystery of element genesis.